boys, we have a video on the brand new Johnny Manziel. And before we get into the gameplay, there is a lot to explain with this card. How to get him for free and also what they did to this card to see if he's worth it or not. I will explain it all before we get into it. But if you guys enjoy gameplays like this, I do them on all the brand new cards. We just did the LTD Calvin Ridley, now the Johnny Manziel. So if you never want to miss gameplays, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's get right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMo, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. All right, boys, so you log in and you'll get your 86 Johnny Menzel from literally just logging in, but you need four helmet stickers to get him, and it's really easy to get the four helmet stickers. There is a set you can do where it takes 388. You can do that twice. That's what I did to get it faster, but you can do it for free as well from going to house rules. I think it's 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 in the house rules. You got to go look at the rewards, but it's pretty easy to do. Just win a couple house rules games. You do have to do a set as well, though, which is a hero or a champion set, so you could do a 91 or a 94 right there, so I guess it's not all the way free, but I guess you could slowly work towards that as well you get one from challenges as well and then you also get a helmet sticker right here which is really easy to do i literally just went to challenges and got 1500 yards literally just throwing streaks on one star super easy to get but let's take a look at the card now so johnny manzel i mean on paper with the strat card obviously i'm in 50 out of 50 campus hero theme team as well we're gonna have a video on that as well with the hybrid theme team video tomorrow that video is gonna be super awesome so make sure you have those notes on for that but looking at johnny manzel i mean 93 speed on the team or 94 base speed he's up to 97 on our team he has amazing stats 97 throw throw power i mean look at the accuracies they're all really good besides the media or the deep which is sitting at 86 the throw under pressure is a little bit risky as well there is something i got to talk about this card as well but also before we talk about it the abilities aren't bad as well so zero ap gift draft you also do get your sefi lead and gunslinger stack and yes you need gunslinger on this card 100 percent if you're going to use him no omaha which really does suck so i guess i'll rock with bazooka if you want to be a scrambler i guess you can get freight train or truss or escape artist I, I mean, not a bad stack right there if you're quarterback runner. But before we get into the gameplay, I got to talk about something. All right, boys, before we get into it, you guys remember Johnny Manziel was one of the best quarterbacks or at least had one of the best releases in the game on his old 90 card right here in traditional two. This is the release that Joe Burrow has. Uh, guys like uh, Terry Bradshaw has. It's known as the second best release in the game. So everybody was selling off their quarterbacks for this free Johnny Manziel and whatnot. But if you take a look what they did with the brand new 86 Johnny Manziel, this is the first time this year that they have changed the release. The first time. And they changed his release on a free card, by the way. This is super scummy. They change it to the worst release in the game, a generic one. This is the release that they throw on offensive alignment. If you go in franchise, change, I don't know, grab a Quentin Nelson, change him to quarterback, he'll have generic one. It's the worst release in the game by far. And they changed Johnny Manziel's free card to have the worst release in the game. Super scummy, but I had to get this video off for you guys, man. Let's get into it. Hey boys, game number one. Our opponent's team is a little... I mean, he has crazy ability stacks on these guys. But look at ours, man. Three campus heroes. Like I said, full campus heroes theme team. This should be an electric video, man. And also, I just realized I took off my Browns unis, dude. I got the Browns stadium. It would have been cool to have it back in his uni. All right, boys. Johnny Manziel. I, I'm really hoping it's a mistake and it's not really generic one. We'll be able to tell after a couple throws. But the first play, we're starting off with the read option, baby. 97 speed on our team. I would not be surprised if we're able to juke and go all the way. I mean, he is faster than literally almost... Especially when you make a bad user play like that. He is faster than every card in the game. And look at Johnny, man. I mean, that dude is literally the same speed as my Calvin Ridley LTD card. I mean, hey, I'll take it. First play of the game, Johnny Man's out to the crib. Let's go, boys. A lot of new names on defense. Like I said, we're building a crazy hybrid. It's not finished yet, but it's going to be 50 campus heroes and 25 of something. I don't want to I don't want to ruin it yet, but you could probably probably guess what it's going to be but we might be getting out of this one into a second game early man we haven't even thrown a pass yet and we have the ball back with a seven point lead as you guys know generic one is what kenny pickett had in the beginning of the year it's like a really really like slow release almost everywhere besides like the medium of the field but at the end of the day i think we should be okay let's see johnny menzel on the run a little bit i mean on the run you can kind of get away from it but like i said i'm not 100 percent sure if it's just a visual glitch on mutt.gg or not but i'm pretty sure it's they're usually not wrong on the releases, so I kind of do trust them that they actually made this release generic one. I'll try, though. I'm going to try short throws. I'm going to try stationary throws, long throws, everything I possibly can in this video. We might even have to hop in practice mode to do it, but let's see. Oh, he's ready for that, man. This dude's playing good D. We're going to have to literally throw the exact same throw. Like, Okay, the exact same throw again. We haven't got to see the actual release yet because we've thrown on the run twice, but Johnny Manziel is a playmaker. He's kind of looking like his college days here. Scrambling, throwing, even huge rushing touchdowns. I'll take it. I mean, we already got to stop on Anthony Richardson forcing a fumble. I'm feeling confident on defense. We might be able to, we might have to like, okay. 
Never mind, boys. Yeah, we're definitely getting into a game number two at this rate. There's just no way. Two plays, two turnovers. What am I watching? He is staying in the game. He's literally staying in. I got to get a stationary throw to like the short right, short left, either or right here. Let's see. See, this is a perfect time to test it. I mean, right there, it didn't look absolutely terrible. I will say, I don't think I've used generic one in a long time. They also gave this release to Derrick Henry. And as you guys remember, nobody used that card. Literally nobody. So tough, though, because this is a free card with Sefi Lee. The other free quarterback in the game is, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. Michael Vick. He doesn't get Sefi Lee, but he gets his own crazy ability. Are you guys using free Van Zell or free Vick? Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's see. Honestly, I mean, like, he's getting the ball out pretty quick. I wonder, I truly wonder. I got to see it a lot more. But I truly wonder if it's, like, a visual glitch. I don't know. Because I have not seen EA change a receipt. They have not changed one release this entire year. And changing a free card's release to generic one would be the scummiest thing ever. And, it, I mean, it's typically an EA move. But let's see what we got right here, boys. Little X. I don't know. I'd have to go compare it, dude. I really would. I can't tell. I guess we'll never know until we get a confirmation from Mott.gg that this is what it actually is. Unless I see a really, really bad here sooner or later. Let's see, though, boys. We're kind of cooking right now. And I, I don't know. I mean, it looks really, really weird. He has, like, that cock back a little bit. I, 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 I genuinely i am pretty good with releases. I can't tell right now. I mean, we've seen multiple throws now. Short right, short left. I mean, we've seen everything. We're trying to get every type of throw out here in the game as well. Let's see this one right here. I mean, you can see it's definitely a cock back. It's definitely not the releases I've been cooking with lately, but... It's not the worst thing in the world, I guess you could say. I think it would be a little different if somebody was sending the dollar blitz or the A-gap against me, though. This play is my two-point conversion goat, so it looks like an RPO, but I actually like to pull it a lot with my quarterback, and you can see right there, wide open with the 97-speed player. Never mind. Well, that is definitely unfortunate. One-yard line. I am going to pass the ball here, actually. Let's see how fast he can get into the flat. I mean, it's not terrible. I don't know. I mean, for a free card, I think I would rather have Sefi lead over not Sefi lead like a Vic. I don't know, boys. I think I'd almost rather go Johnny Manziel than Vic, personally, just because Sefi lead alone. But that wasn't enough. Let's get into another game. Here we go, boys. Johnny Manziel already carried us to a three-touchdown performance, by the way. I, it was a very quiet three touchdowns. And, uh-oh. I mean, that four-man rush was different right there. It looks like we're playing just a guy that's going to shove all of his players in the box and run cover four. I feel like I play this. It's like the most popular scheme, I swear. It's like just cover four, bring the safeties all the way up. It's a nice little, you know, dice it up d defense, but it's not going to give up the big play usually. Hey, Johnny, let's see if he falls for bait underneath. I want to see if maybe we can get the bomb right here. And it looks like really nothing's open, but maybe. Oh, I was looking down the tight end, but we got Johnny Menzel with 97 speed. We turned that into basically 10 yards. Dude, I, yeah, I really think this is a solid free quarterback. It doesn't feel, I, like I said, I can't tell if it's generic one because I remember generic one being like almost unusable. Maybe it's because I used it on Derrick Henry who didn't have Sefi lead or also a uh, holler master. So maybe it's just because he has a really, really good ability. It's not terrible, but I, I don't know. I really, really can't tell you because it doesn't feel like as bad as I thought it was. And look at Darius Hayward. Oh, I got bumped by DJ Moore. Come on, man. Option time, baby. Let's see. Usually the dollar corner doesn't blitz too crazy on it, but we'll see how this guy's running it. I think I'm still going to pull it, man. Ah, uh, sometimes you can get outside with that juke. Not lucky there, though. That verticals with the angle route. Just classic. The most classic Madden play you can get. Oh, yeah. He left him wide open, man. You got to guard your side of the field, baby. DJ Moore makes up for it for taking our touchdown away earlier. Let's go, boys. That's our fourth touchdown of the video already, and I feel like we've barely been recording. Oh, man. I didn't make my subs yet, so this play, I have none of my KOs where they need to be. This is not really looking good so far. And actually, a good defensive... I thought so for a second. He had a year in that pocket, man. That was tough. There it is, boys. We got our KOs exactly where they should be, and it looks like I don't even know what formation this is. Let's see if we can get a bag, though. Honestly, I feel like Johnny Menzel, I, I was expecting way worse than generic one. I don't know if Sefi Lee, it's definitely not like the Lamar release, like, at all, but you could definitely feel it's not, like, awful. And look at Bo. Bo at corner, man. I don't know. I didn't really like him at safety too much, but we might have just found his position. That was a crazy pick. That was a corner out. He got pulled. That's a flood concept. So basically, he just guarded two routes at once, and he turned and snapped. And not only did he get the KO, he actually picked that ball off. Let's see what he has for us here. We might get a scramble throw down the sideline. No way. Johnny missed it, man. Oh, what's his throw in the run stats again? Come on, man. That's wide open. All right, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Second and 10, boys. Let's make some plays real quick. I'm getting a little nervous. He's starting to send that corner a little bit. Oh, ooh. We don't want to see that, but he's sending that corner a lot more. He wanted to get that poster out. I need that big play. I feel like we haven't had it yet. And uh oh, Calvin Ridley, boys. We got to aim it down a little bit. I'm actually going to hurry this up. I'm going to hurry this up because I want to run verticals right here. Hopefully, he switches up after letting a wide open play. Looks like he's not switching really anything too crazy here. And let's see, boys. Can we get. 
Yeah, all right. Let's stop wasting plays. What was that? Was an awful play call. What am I watching? Like literally, that was TJ Watt just instantly shedded our brand new 94 overall right tackle. Brand new, by the way. And uh oh, Johnny, no way. Johnny Manziel, that was a crazy laser. There was a deep out zone we had to be careful of. DJ Moore gets a perfect animation. Five total touchdowns so far. Zero points on offense, I believe, too. I mean, I mean, allowed on offense from the other teams. Johnny Manziel, I'm not going to lie. I definitely think he might be better than Vic, in my opinion. I, I didn't notice the release to be too bad, and I definitely prefer Steffi Lee. And he's fast. Yeah, I like this card a lot. I mean, honestly, I was definitely disappointed on the menus, but it wasn't a bad gameplay at all. All right, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will say I do think he is worth the grind. I don't know if you should rush it. I mean, I guess if you're selling your quarterback off, I still think I'd rather have guys like Andrew Luck or even like the cheap quarterbacks. I That's probably the best cheap quarterback in the game, Andrew Luck, under 500K. I don't know. Let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys going back to Luck? Are you guys using Johnny Manziel? Are you guys using Vic? Or do you have the big dogs like William Perry and whatever? But let me know, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the hybrid theme team video tomorrow. That one is one of my favorites I'm recording, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.